be that person, their teams, like, let's get it done. And oftentimes what we try to do is actually also provide a dis- decent amount of education because what you get in the bill is not necessarily the financial charges. Yep. Like you need to think about the amortization yeah. across yeah. of the lifetime of a reserved instance if you buy it ahead of time yeah. and whether or not you're pulling out those marketplace charges. And so there's a lot of financial thought that has to go into identifying what your actual flat spend is. Yeah, and, and what you're describing is exactly what we go through on the service side. It's exactly the same thing. So someone will come to us and they'll say, well, you know, we have, uh, you know, our, our CFO wants us to have, you know, 60% gross margin on our, our consulting offers because that's what they think is good. And, and they'll put some, you know, business version of the model on the table and say, well, we have benchmarks, but by the way, we have to have a common definition here. Yes. And that 60%, you know, so once you start moving stuff around, you say, okay, now we are comparing apples to apples compared mm-hmm. to what good looks like in the industry. But that translation part is so key. And it is, uh, you know, it's never failed to amaze me that, you know, you would think with accounting rules that you'd see pretty much the same thing from company to company. The variance that you can see on where people stick stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. like you were saying, oh, that ended up in G&A. Oh, that ended up in R&D. Well, wait a minute. That is up in, you know, cost of service. It's kind of crazy, you know, when you, when you look at it. It is. And honestly, like, I'll, what I like to do is go back to first principles of why are we doing what we're doing? Like, why is it booking to where it is? What com- what are we communicating in our business? Like, there's strategy behind this, right? Sure. And the best CFOs think that way. But, right. I, I mean, not to take a, a slight little deviation, but I've got a little bit of a bone to pick with our whole big gross margin model and perspective on the tech industry. Right. Because we spend all of our engineering focus on building features that satisfy customer requests 